Well, you asked for it, so here it is. My very own Cherry MX Switch Guide Part 1 for you all. Because I love you so much. Ah, and also because, you know, it's just fun for me. Okay, so today I have the Cherry MX Reds, Blues, and Browns. Three out of the four most popular Cherry MX switches on the market today. And I want to give a special thanks to Corsair. Thank you so much mwah, for providing all of these keyboards. The entire K70 family. You guys are so awesome. All right, so... um. Why thank them? Well, not only because I get to show it off, but because there will be a giveaway at 5,000 subscribers. That is correct. I will be giving away all of these three keyboards because I want to make you guys happy. Because <laughs> I'm just happy being here. Um, okay, but why don't I get into a little bit about the history of Cherry Switches? So I want to start off with how it all started. So the Cherry Corporation was founded in the U.S. in 1953, but they didn't start producing keyboards until 1967. But still, wow, it's a long time ago. It's like, we used keyboards back then? <laughs> I know I wasn't born but yet, yeah, but you know, still, it's just really awesome to like know this stuff. Um, and also, they started producing their more popular, their most popular, Cherry MX switches in 1985, the year before I was born. Huh, wow. That was a long time ago. Okay, um, anyway, so um, the more four most popular are the Cherry MX Blacks, the Browns, the Blues, and the Reds. But they also come in greens, which I definitely have to cover for you in the next one, along with the Blacks. Um, as well as White, uh, Dark Gray, Super Black, what else is there? Um, but but anyway, there's there are a few more, but that's basically just the uh, general part of it. So how do you know which MX switch you have? Well. It's really easy, actually. Just look at the color. Physical color tells you everything you need to know. Well, I mean, if you already know what they do. So, for example, it will tell you if it's clicky, if you can feel a bump while you press down, or what is the actuation force in order to get it to register. Um, and I will go into detail once I go over the individual uh, keyboards right here with the switches. Yay! So a little bit about the Cherry MX Red switches. This is the Red Cherry MX Red K70 version. And um, just for a quick overview, what are some of the highlights of this? For example, I love the textured keys. You also get a set of regular ones as well. Um, what else? Uh, you get this black anodized brushed aluminum top layer, layer here right beneath the keys, which I love. It's just cool to the touch. And the best part of this, about this keyboard is the per key illumination using this button right here. But for the full review, please go ahead and check out the K70 video that I did. And uh, Joe will help me link it in the description below. So uh, be sure to look at that. So a little bit about the red switches. Cherry MX red switches were introduced in 2008 and they're the most recent switch developed by the Cherry Corporation. And they have a low actuation force of 45 cent centinewtons or 45.88 grams um, depending on which way you lean towards and they are tied with brown for the lowest of the four most common switches which I mentioned before red black brown blue um, and with the red switches they are linear switches that means when you press down on them they go straight up and down. You do not feel a bump and it's not loud. I mean but for mechanical switches it's loud because that's, you know, they're, they're all loud, much louder than the uh, rubber dome counterparts. And so that might be why people might use rubber dome, but that's another story for another time. So let me go ahead and just uh, press it a few times so you know what it sounds like. Ooh, it's like spider fingers, spider fingers. Okay, um, but moving right along, um, why are they so good? Uh, they are marketed as a gaming switch because of their light weighting, so you can do more rapid actuation, meaning like even pressing it halfway down, it should register that keystroke, so at two millimeters and definitely bottoming out. But why do I not like it? Well, it's because I prefer the bump. I Hearing the click and feeling the bump, because then I know every key has been actuated. I know that every key has, you know, every command has been executed. So there's my take on it and what exactly is Cherry MX Red. So now that you know a little bit about Cherry MX Red switches, why don't we go ahead and take one of the keycaps off so you can get a better look at it. Gonna take the R using the keycap removal tool. One moment. Come on, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right, and there it is. As you can see, it's kind of got this like plussed shape to it, and this particular version comes with an LED on top of it. 
Alrighty, next up is the Cherry MX Brown switches. And um, I know this looks like the exact same keyboard, which it is, but that's only because of the lighting. So that's something I would have liked Corsair to have done, is to have different LEDs for the different switches. So when you get it, you know, you, you'll know what you're getting. But at the same time, maybe people love reds. They just love reds for gaming, and that's me. So I don't really mind, to be perfectly honest, but maybe you do. All right, so now onto the brown switches. A little bit about, uh, a little, tiny bit of history about them. So like the red switches, um, like I said, 45 uh, CN, centinewton uh, actuation force and the browns were introduced in 1994 as a special ergosoft switch so they're very comfortable and what i really like about them is they are a cross between you know let's say the reds and the blues i mean not an actual feel or anything but for what they are used for they're good for both typing and gaming so typist you can feel that bump uh, but then it's not that loud, you know what I mean? So that when you are uh, typing away in an office environment, it's perfect because you will not annoy the person next to you. Maybe, because they're still loud. <laughs> so um, let me go ahead and show you before I take it off what they sound like. Eee, I love that, okay. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, I wanted to show you that you can feel the bump when you actuate it, which is great because then I know, hey, I just pressed W. But let me go ahead and show you what they look like. So let's get a close up in, Joe. Alrighty, so here's a look at the brown switch. I'll be pulling out the S key. So wiggle, 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 and yank. Ha ha ha, but don't yank too hard. Anyway, so you'll notice the red LED above the plus shaped brown switch. To wrap up this video, we're going to look at the Cherry MX Blues. And I absolutely love these. I saved it for last because best for last, right? Ha ha ha. But once again, Corsair decided to go with red LEDs. Do you know what I would like to see one day? I believe Ducky Shine, uh, the Ducky series has this, the Ducky Shine 3. You can choose the switch and the LED. That is sick to me, but maybe one day. And of course they are a little bit expensive, but hey, maybe it's worth it for your personalized customization, right? So onto the blues, these are a tactile, that means you'll feel the bump, and they're clicky. So you'll hear that satisfying click every time you uh, enter a key command. I love it. I mean, honestly, this is my favorite and will probably always be my favorite. And I don't mind if I annoy my neighbors because I don't have any. <laughs> well, this is the great thing about working for yourself. Nobody to annoy except for yourself. That happens too. Okay, and so um, for the blues, they have a relatively... Um, high actuation force, which is at 50 grams. And it's said that they're less suitable for gaming, but honestly, I don't care. I'm still gonna use it for gaming. <laughs> That's just my personal opinion, don't care. It's my favorite type of switch. I will use it for everything. However, this is definitely favored by typists due to that bump and that audible click. So you know like, yes, everything is being executed. And also, you know, some people think it's dis disruptive, but you know, whatever, haters. So before I go ahead and take off the keycap, let's show you the sound. Oh my god, I can do this all day long. Clickety, clackety, wee! I'm having way too much fun. So before I go ahead and remove a keycap, I wanted to talk about uh, a little bit about when they became available. And they were present in keyboards in 2007, so these are still relatively new, but not as new as the reds. And I'm so glad I found out about them. <laughs> um, and uh, basically, some people find that it's harder to double tap, and maybe that's why it's less suitable for gaming, but honestly, whatever. I, just, I think blues are just like, you know, top of the line, and I, there's nothing bad to say about them. Alrighty, now let's go ahead and remove the keycap, so. Let's go for D. Ha, ah, there we are. And there's your blue plus sign. All right, so I have the Cherry MX reds, the blues and the browns laid out for me so I can show you kind of like a side-by-side -side sound test. And remember, it's not just the sound you're looking for, it's the feel. So the red linear, listen. And then now we're gonna go to the blue, clicky and bumpy. And finally, the browns. Bumpy, non-clicky. Oh, it's like butter. butter. 
butter. <laughs> but anyway, I really hope that you found this video both informative, maybe a little bit funny, made you smile. That's what I'm here for, guys. I'm here to tell you things and I'm here to make you laugh or at least crack that smile right here in this little corner right here. So once again, thank you Corsair for providing these keyboards so that I may give them away to the awesome, awesome fans who watch me. Thank you. Mwah. I do love you super much. And um, I guess all that's left to say is if you like what you saw, you want to see more of the same or you know, something different but tech related, then please follow me on Joanne Tech Lover on YouTube, Joanne Tech Lover on Facebook fan page, and Joanne Food Lover on Twitter, as well as Game Stream. That's right, twitch.tv slash whaletune, where I game four days a week, playing all kinds of games, just added Wildstar. I'm really looking forward to giving you a first look at that game. And it's beta right now, so it's not even out yet. Really cool. But I'm rambling. If you really, really like this, please go ahead and subscribe subscribe to my channel, like and comment, and mwah, super much love. <laughs>